if you guys weren't aware, out in East Palestine, Ohio, and that's over by Youngstown, there has been a train derailment. The problem was the uh, the train was carrying something that, um, if you guys weren't aware, was uh, not very nice. This is the smoke from the train derailment. Not very good. Not very good at all. So the train derailed and it had tons of toxic chemicals in it. Um, the issue is it's near the state line of Pennsylvania, but the bigger issue is it was burning vinyl chloride. Um, and that would send hydrogen chloride and toxic and the toxic gas phosgene. And if you weren't aware what phosgene is, um, that was a gas that was developed and then used in world war one as a chemical weapon to very, very good effect. Um, that's one of the no, no's like using that can be considered a war crime. So you're not allowed to use phosgene, but it can be made. It is a chemical. And the issue is this stuff is near the headwaters of where the Ohio river runs through Ohio and begins its run down to the Mississippi. So this is kind of a big deal. If it leaks into everywhere, they had to intentionally detonate one of the cars that it was not fully burned yet. And that was the smoke rising from it. Um, so yes, all this burning vinyl chloride and vapors were sent all over the area, killed a lot of things. People had to evacuate the town. Livestock is dead. Now, apparently, they're claiming it's safe to go back. Not really sure how true that is, but at least I don't have to trust the government on this one. As part of the derailment, well, the governor was holding a press conference, and we are a press conference. Reporters show up, right? I mean, sound, sounds logical to me, I guess. And there were reporters all around the governor. And then there was a reporter way in the back. And this is in the back of a high school gym. And that reporter was Evan Lambert. He is a reporter for News Nation. Um, they are a smaller independent news organization. Uh, they have they're on Twitter covering a lot of things. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll kind of start with there what happens because this was cut this was caught on the body cam of the illustrious Ohio State Highway Patrol. So we can see right here. Here's the press conference going on. The governor's talking up here somewhere, and you can't see him because uh you can't see him because Governor Mike DeWine's a little troll. He's like this tall, so you can't see him anyway. But all the news is right here, and they're in a big basketball court. This is from one of the troopers. The guy in the camouflage, pay attention to him. He's a real hero. So you notice we're walking, we're walking through the crowd, we're walking through the crowd. Oh, wow. Okay, it looks like that guy in the uh, camouflage is doing something. But he's like way far in the back. What the hell's going on? I mean, I mean, surely he can't be doing something bad. I mean, there's nobody in between. That's a half a basketball court away. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, well. So you can see the guy in the the guy in the camouflage uniform. He's he's in the National Guard. I'll give you a hint there. He's not very happy. He's sad about something. And then there's a sergeant here, so you know things are getting serious. We still don't have any sound yet. And this is Evan Lambert here in the gray shirt, and that's his uh, camera guy. And he's broadcasting about the press conference and reporting on it. And here we go. The sound should click on right about the second. Now look at him doing his job. Now at this point, they claim he was being too loud. The reporter is being too loud. Now was he being loud or is all of the people who are obviously yelling, including this guy in camouflage and the police who are pointing and shouting, look, Everybody in the crowd's now looking because somebody's created a scene and it's not the reporter. Not the guy doing his job. Nobody noticed him before. We need to rewind that part because this is very critical here. Watch the guy in the uniform. Push him back. So scary. Look at that fucking hero. I mean, the audio's coming, guys. The audio's coming. 
I am allowed to be here. Now, now, or you can go to jail. Sir, you want to go to jail for criminal trespass? Ah, so now we're now we're being told he's too loud. Now we've been told he's too loud. But did you guys see that bravery from that? Uh, from that National Guard member who shoved him. I mean, that's the kind of stuff. I mean, you know, some all gave some, some gave all. I mean, heroes like that willing to shove a reporter out of the way. I mean, thank God that man's there on that wall while I sleep in bed at night. I mean, that kind of bravery. No wonder. No, I mean, oof. Ralph is saying he has no authority. He's the National Guard. He does have authority because he's working under state power. Oh, I don't know why that guy's. We could have let him loose in the t Afghanistan when the Taliban were trying to take over the Kabul airport. We could have just sent him out there, and he could just start punching people in the chest with his finger. I'm sure he could just could have racked up a ton, a ton of dead bodies from the Taliban for that. I mean, think about it. That that that's a hero, fucking hero right there. Just just, mm, you know, beautiful. But then we see the cops. Well, you, you got to leave. You got to leave. Why? You're being loud. He wasn't being loud till now. Well, now we're going to arrest you because you're trespassing. Who, who said he was trespassing? Who kicked him out? He's a cop. Who kicked him out? The Green Buffet came in and said, you have to weave. You'll be too loud. Ooh. And the cop said, you'll be too loud. When you want to arrest someone and you don't have a warrant, you have to have probable cause they commit a crime. What has he done so far? He was a reporter reporting. That's not a crime the last time I checked. The Highway Patrol prides themselves on having highly trained people. They they pride themselves on having highly trained officers. And then and then that officer who uh is the major general of the Ohio National Guard, you know, swears to uh protect and defend the Constitution. I guess he never read it. Because it's kind of a big deal. I mean, you could swear to protect and defend it, but if you don't understand it, um, I mean, what good are you? But it's a bigger issue. Because now he's been escorted away. Now the cops are here. You want to go to jail for criminal trespass? Do you understand you know how quickly our lawyers will get me out? I don't we care. Don't care. Sorry, can we I talk? don't. And yes, you can see it's one of the, it's from the sheriff's department. I'm kicking you out. Well, who the fuck are you? It's not your building. He's not being disorderly. You have no right to trespass him. Number one, what what has he done that's illegal? He isn't being loud. But I'll give this guy credit. Evan Lambert, dude, you got some balls just telling him to fucking do what they got to do. A lot of people would walk away. Just yeah. Just 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 outside. Outside. Just outside. Just outside. Go. Just outside. Out the door. Come on. Out the door. Out the door. You know, out the door. By other media right now. Care. I'm going to listen. I don't care. My you're going to walk out the door. I'm going to listen. You're going to walk do out not the door. Touch Come on out, sir. You're going to walk out the door. Because you're going to jail. Do not touch me. Sir, can we talk outside, please? I'm trying to talk outside, please. And he escalated with me. I am doing my job. I'm just covered by the First Amendment. Excuse me, sir. I'm the building supervisor yes. here. Please leave. There you have it. I'm the building supervisor here. Please leave. We don't we don't take kindly to no reporters out here in East Liverpool, Ohio. Especially none of them colored folk. Good job. Good job, Mr. Building Supervisor. He had a fire department shirt on, so I mean Kind of bravery is gonna cut your car open while it's burning on burning. I guess I don't know. Just just heroes all abound. You know, free meals at Applebee's for everybody. Right you're you're gonna stand outside. You are, no, or you're going to jail. Let's go. 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 let us go what the fuck? Oh, 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 I, I forgot about this part. Yes. Stop resisting. There are three of us on top of you. Get on the ground. I am on the ground. Oh. Now, I don't know who this cop is right here. Stop. Whoever's doing this, you are as big a piece of shit as everybody else. Look at that right there. 
Look at that shit. Oh, we can't have the press in here to cover the press doing their thing. Oh, no. No, Mr. Mr. Reporter, man. You can't be here. What? You think that guy's got a secret gun in his camera? Come on now. I love that, too. Yes. Don't film this. Don't film us breaking the law. It's like, bitch, who, you know, the fuck do you cocksuckers think you are? The fuck all of you. And I hope, you know what, right now we're, we're going to pause this because we're going to we're going to call somebody out here. Major General Harris, the guy who started all this. You dickless little fit. I hope you hear this. I hope you hear about me. You are a fucking coward. You are a piece of shit, motherfucker. Look at you, your smug little face. I'm going to get my government pension. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking coward ass motherfucker. Yeah, like, oh, wow. He, he flies helicopters. Ooh. Good for him. Apparently, he wasn't retarded enough to hit a fucking tree. Got through everything, and then he became the, uh, you know, it's all, it's all impressive assignments. Um, You know, he flew an attack helicopter. Ooh. Um, you know, oh, and the Legion of Merit flying helicopters. I'm sure he had, I'm sure it was stressful pumping 30 millimeter cannon rounds into a bunch of Taliban in the middle of the night when they couldn't see you. Just, you know, I'm actually, he probably didn't do that. He probably walked around went like this poke, 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 you know, like a true hero, you know, probably poked his way across Kosovo. Um, you know, the global war on terror. I'm sure, I'm sure he defended America bravely and nobly just poking his way fucking disgusting you are a ohioan too you breathe the same air you walk in the same land as me fucking a bro fucking a but that's who it was wasn't just some rum dumb in the national guard it's the head of the national guard and why is that important well the body cam has caused an issue because he made a statement to the police upon the arrest he's under scrutiny over the altercation with the reporter. Yes, yes. The Major General, the Ohio's Adjutant General, which that's the actual term for the head of the National Guard, wherever you live, is the Adjutant General. Um, he claimed he put his hands up to avoid the reporter bumping into him. I, I don't think you guys see that. I don't see that at all. I see an angry little bitch not like being told what somebody ignoring him. So it sounds like somebody fibbed. And I mean, I, you know, I mean, I did ROTC in college for like a semester you know there's you know the integrity and you know having honor and you know not lying and shit like that so i don't know though um in a news in a statement harris told the reporters he reflexively raised his hands to lambert's chest okay um yeah great great um you know he's a much larger person than i am said that said that said that said the brave general at that point, I was convinced he was prepared to do harm to me. You know, uh, it's it's so scary being being in the National Guard and talking to reporters. It's just, y'all don't know what it's like. It's just so dangerous. Just so scary. I instinctively put my hands on his chest to keep him from bumping into me, which I felt was inevitable. If I had not protected myself. Oh, no. This was scary. Kandahar? No, 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 no. Fighting the Taliban? No, this was this was the real threat. I bet he retires on fucking disability after this. Hundred percent PTSD from the VA. I immediately removed my hands with their space between us. We were in contact for less than a second. Oh, God, General, I don't know how you got out of it. Thank God. Thank God you're here to protect me. He's coming right for me. Oh whoa. So I mean that that's great. I mean having a head of your you know, a guy who is a military officer who flat out fucking lied and not only did that, but did to a reporter and just won't admit like, wow, I just didn't like the fact nobody tells me what to do. You know, I told somebody to do something and they didn't listen to me. Well, that happens when you're not under his orders. Patricia Bradshaw says, doesn't he know it was recorded? I don't know. I That, that kind of tells me he has a habit of saying whatever he needs to say. You know, I'm sure I'm sure that he's I'm sure all those counseling forms he's ever filled out are 100 percent honest. And uh, yes, General, I hope you hear all of this. I'd love for you to respond. I'm sure you will, Hero. So that is a problem, though. He's, you know, certainly would have made a statement and, you know, has should this go to trial somewhere? He's certainly going to be involved as a witness. But yes, Evan Lambert was charged with resisting arrest and, dis and uh, trespassing. He has since been released. You know, Governor DeWine's aware of the body cam video. 
Um, while the video does not show the complete interaction between Lambert and Harris, the videos consist of both Lambert's and Harris' statements regarding the incident. Once again, and you know, for those of us here in Ohio, fuck you, Governor DeWine. You know, if they were hampered in any way from reporting, that certainly is wrong, and it's not anything that I approve of. You know, Governor, here's here's something you can do right now. Something you can do right now. Takes no takes no effort from you. Pardon him right this second. Don't even let the court cases drag out. I pardon this man completely and wholly for any actions he commit. Right now, he's pardoned. Bam, done. Pardon the man. Pardon him. And then I would demand your agent in general resign. He could pardon him later if something happens. But no, right now, the governor, the governor can pardon you ahead of time. The governor has the right to pardon him. His pardon power is just like the pardon power of the president. It's a plenary power. It has no limit. All right, we'll get back to here. Sorry. Folks coming in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he keep people out. Now. He keeps right, keeping people out. Then he's here. Nothing happens for, well, in this part. Here. All right, who's this? Is? Yeah. Uh, press, I'm live right now on TikTok. That's covered in the governor. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh God! In Discord, shake your nut on, your nut on. Oh, who's this? Is I'm on. Oh God, no worries. I'm going captain. Why? Why do, why do you have to say, "Hey, bro, I'm on, I'm on"? Why? Why don't you presume your your camera's always on? What were you worried he's going to say something? I mean, what, what? What? What's the deal there? I think it's go crazy. We're gonna skip ahead a little bit here. Because after a while, where'd the sound go? Why aren't we allowed to hear this? Certainly his camera didn't break. The odds of that are very slim. So they've taken the sound away. As he's just wandering around. And then what do we know? A little bit later, he runs into a law enforcement official. Who's this guy? What's going on? What are they talking about? What's up? Who's, who are they talking about? What was going on? He was involved in some of this earlier. What happened? We don't know. Did this guy see it? Is he a witness? Could he be, you know, what's he saying? I couldn't hear. I can hear. I don't know. We don't know anything about what's being said here. Then we have the cops come back in and it's all quiet still. He's talking to the cops and what's going on? Do we know if this is relevant or not? Why can't we hear it? We had we could wait back and forth. We were up there. We, we had a live shot scheduled to record up there at 5.15. Okay. That's locked in stone. Okay. So coincidence of all coincidence. The governor walk, literally walks out at 5.50. It's the worst possible timing in the world, okay? But we can, there's nothing that we can do about that. He's he's committed to doing his live shot. He's got people talking to him. He doesn't know about whether he needs to talk about Okay, but the, let me let me let me stop you. Yeah, but let me please. Let me stop you. Yeah, but, but, let me, please, but, I'm just I'm so the reason why I understand that the reason why he is where he is. He was told to leave. He refused to leave. Okay. But you had no right to tell him to leave because he wasn't doing anything wrong. That's the problem. Let let me tell you something. He did nothing wrong. He had no right to leave. You had no right to eject him. Then the building superintendent comes over and says, "I don't want you here." He still refused. I, I didn't so now he's arrested. I didn't witness any. That's his own fault. He's arrested. Um, all he had to do I, was hide. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, and all, he just kept all arguing. All I'm telling you is from the television. Yes, because you were wrong. Somebody knew what he was allowed to do. You are the other guy. You know, Evan Lambert's the guy who understands the Constitution. You, you are, you are obviously playing the role of the guy who doesn't know fuck all. Well, actually, you, you the troopers, and the major general. So it's like the ensemble cast of the dumb fuck brigade. I, I understand. What you're... I mean, imagine, imagine these two fucks. Are they going to go save your kids in the shootout if there's a school shooting? I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, they, they, they ain't hassling reporters. 
you know, they we done we done good today. This is to do. I understand you guys have have jobs to do, yeah. but when he's told to leave by law enforcement, I, I, that's can't, not, I can't speak to that. Um, that that's an issue. But what I just I could I thought I might just be able to give you some insight on, on I understand my, from my no, I understand you guys have a job to do. I get it. It's just I get it. But but when when you're told to step out I and you get to the point where yeah. The building superintendent's coming over and saying, yeah. you need to leave. I understand. Um, so, oh, that's, that's, that's why you tell me where he is, please. Don't go in that but the Columbia County Jail. Columbia, Columbia, uh, Columbia County Jail. Yes, okay. <laughs> Sir, what's your name? Uh, sure, Brian McGaugh, Sheriff from the block. Thank you. I'm Preston yeah. Swigert. Okay. Okay. Thank Pleasure. you. Pleasure. Top tier bravery, the sheriff himself, the bravest of the brave. Just like, just like, just like uh, Marshal, just like Marshal Ney for Napoleon, the bravest of the brave, the bravest of the brave. Just brave, just brave. Oh, bravery, bravery everywhere. Now, what 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 are the issues here for this guy? Well. Was there probable cause to arrest him? Because to be arrested, you need a there needs to be a warrant or a probable cause. So in Ohio, is criminal trespass an arrestable offense? One hundred percent, it is. It is an arrestable offense. It is a jailable offense. Um, and then you know, even if you go to city of uh, Lago Vista v. Atwater, the Supreme Court said even if it's not a jailable offense, you can certainly be arrested for it, regardless. So he was arrested, but was he told to leave? Okay, well. Initially, he was not doing anything wrong, and the general caused the ruckus. And then out of nowhere, that guy who says he's the building superintendent, like, is he actually the building superintendent, number one, told him he needs to leave. Well, why did he tell him he needed to leave? Because there was a disturbance? Well, the disturbance was created by another party. So is that really a proper ejection? No, and should it, it shouldn't have even gotten to that point because the police should have gotten up to the general and said, leave him alone, you go your way, you're filming a thing here. Everybody's going and minding their own business. But the police didn't do that. Ted Otto says, isn't the press conference a public forum? Yes, but you can still be ejected from public property. Um, you don't have an unlimited right to be in a public building. Uh, so if you guys ever watched the First Amendment at aud Auditors, you don't have an unlimited right. So, for example, I can walk into my, my city hall. I have the right to walk in there. But if I run around screaming, you know, high the song High Hopes at the top of my lungs, they're probably going to tell me to leave pretty quickly because I don't have the right to disturb other people and disturb other things that are going on. Much the same way I don't have the right to set up a tent in the middle of the city hall, even though I pay my taxes. Um, you have the right to be on city property, but it's not an unlimited right. Just like any of your rights, there can be restrictions placed upon them. Time, place, and manner. Now, for example, if this guy was in the back of the press conference sitting there playing with an air horn or jerking around and playing basketball, they could tell him, get out. This is a press conference. Uh, but it's clear he was a reporter doing something, and this general, for whatever reason, he heard him, but nobody else was really paying attention. So everybody else should have just left it alone, but nobody did. Why? Well, because nobody likes the authority getting scuffed. Track Elvis says, take the case for subs and likes. Um, he's already got an attorney, but if he didn't, I would drive the hour, almost two hours. I would do that pro bono for the guy. But apparently they've already got a lawyer set up, so they're all fine. But I would go defend this guy for free. I mean, this is complete bullshit what happened to him. <laughs> Alyssa is saying, I'm 35 minutes behind, but I'm out here trying to get monetized. And you're over here dropping gamer word rants. I must clip. <laughs> hey, what can I say? It's like asking a fish, why, why do you, why do you swim or a bird? Why do you fly? Or me? Why am I an asshole? J just what I do. Just what I do.